I'm like shaking. Okay. Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be my results. Let me get my phone. So the time is currently 7.31. School opens at 8 to get the results. So I'm probably going to be leaving in about 20 minutes, but I actually slept fine, which I don't think I would. Um, I literally woke up like 20 minutes ago and I thought I was going to be up at like 5 in the morning, but I was fine. Um, also, if my voice is a bit like flatline, it's because one, I'm tired and two, I'm scared. So, <laughs> but everyone's been checking the grade boundaries and they're saying how they're really high and stuff and, you know, that doesn't make me feel good, but... The only one I wanted to check was art, and I checked, and I think I got my eight. I probably didn't though, because I'm really dumb, so I probably looked at the wrong mark, but I think I got my eight, so yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go in the car. Also, I know I'm going off topic, but pathetic fallacy. Hopefully, I mean, it's pretty good. They keep shitting it. We get in terrible grades. I'm not gonna take my camera with me, but I got my results. I'll come back. I'll sit down and I'll tell you what I got and then I'll talk about it. So, I'll see you when I get back. Hopefully my grades are okay. I just really wanna get into sixth form, that's what I want. Um, and hopefully meet my predictions because my prediction video kind of went popular in my eyes. It got like 13,000 views, so thank you if you watched that. Hopefully I meet those targets because if I don't, that's really awkward and people are already saying how grade boundaries are really high. See you on the other side. And I've got my results. Bye. Okay, hello everyone. Um, I've got my results, I've looked at them. If you're just here to see like all the grades lined up, I'm gonna quickly run through them. But then if you wanna stay for like a more in-depth thing, I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna run through them now. Okay, so in combined science, I got a seven six. In business, I got a five. In drama, I got a six. In English language, I got a seven. In English literature, I got an eight. In history, I got a seven. In maths, I got a five. And in art, I got an eight. So. That's two eights, three sevens, two sixes, and two fives. E so I did get into sixth form, thank God. Um, very happy about that. That was like my main concern. Like, honestly, if I get into sixth form, like, that's fine. Like, because then I've got A levels. Um, so I got in, thank God, I was really happy. My grades, I'm really happy with some of them. I'm very happy with my science, and I'm very happy with my Englishes, and my maths, and my art. And I'm happy with my history. The ones that I'm not that happy with is my business and my drama, because in business I was predicted a nine, and I came up with a five. If you watched my predictions video, then you would know that I revised for the wrong paper. Like, I was revising theme two for theme one, but maybe it just wasn't my day. Like, I didn't think the business exams went that well, so. I think my teacher's gonna be a bit like, how did you go four grades down? But, it's whatever, you know. You win some, you lose some. And then drama, I got a six, which I was pretty happy with, but I was predicted an eight as well. So I think the exam must have just gone really bad and then this went okay. Cause like, if you watch my prediction video, I said that sometimes I get a four and sometimes I get a nine. So I was bang in the middle. So I was happy with a six. So I am gonna run through them all quickly and just give a more like in-depth talk about it if you care about that. Because my predictions video, I said what I thought I'd get and I'm just gonna run through and see if I was like similar. So yeah, first off being combined science, I got a seven six, which is an AB. How did I do that? So the exams went. I was. So I got an AB. How that happened, I don't know. I predicted myself a 5 6 or a 6 6 at a push. But my mind just went. That makes me sound like I love myself so much. I'm just kidding. Then business, I got a 5. I'm not happy with it. My mum said if I want to retake it, maybe I should retake it. I don't want to do that. No offence. So, drama, I got a six. Like I said, I'm not that happy with it, but it's still a B. Like, I'm not gonna be annoyed about a B. Like, it makes me sound like, oh wait, I need to give a disclaimer. Disclaimer, my grades are my personal achievements, and if you think that a grade's bad, or if you think that a grade's good, just know that everyone is different, and yeah. Like I was saying, I'm happy with a six, because it's a B, but when I predict like an eight, you know, it's a bit deflating, but like business, I'm not doing drama for A level, so I'm not upset about it. Next up is Englishes. Now I was, I'm really happy with my English results because they are, I think they're pretty similar to my predictions, but they're good. I'm, I'm happy with them. So in English language, I got a seven and I predicted myself a seven. So they must have liked my story about a clock. Not sure why, but they must have liked that. English literature, I got an eight. 
I'm sorry, but I did not know anything about war photographer, so I'm not sure what they were playing at. So I'm really happy with both those Englishes. My teacher was really happy as well. She came up to me and was like, are you happy? Why do I keep on doing that? She was like, are you happy? And I was like, yeah. I'm not happy with some of my grades, but I'm happy with yours. Now, next up is history, which I got a seven, which is an A. This is what I predicted, and it's also what my teacher predicts me. So, like, I'm on the ball of, like, eh. And I'm doing it for A-level, so I was quite happy with a seven. I'm really happy I didn't get a six, because to do A-level history, you have to get at least a six. So I'm happy that I got a seven, so I'm, like, a grade above. You know what I mean? I would have loved an eight, but... I mean, I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, I got an A. Ooh, ooh. Like, no, shut up. Next up is maths. Now, if you... You don't even have to know me. If you watched my prediction video, you know that I said maths went... Down. And let me tell you that when I opened this piece of paper... Also, everyone else gets envelopes. I just got a piece of paper, so not sure what they're playing at. But when I opened the piece of paper, straight away I was like, right, where is the maths? That's the one I'm looking for. And I saw a five, and I was like... We go in sixth form. So I got a five in maths. Now you may be like, why, how are you annoyed with like a seven in subjects but you're happy with a five? Maths, it's not my strong point. Maths is my low point and I got a five in maths. I'm so happy. And then my final grade is art and for art I got an eight which is an A star. I'm really happy with this because I was at an 8 the whole year, and in my predictions video, I was like, I really would like an 8. And this morning, I woke up and I was like, the only grade boundary I want to check is art. So I checked it, and then I added up my marks, and I saw that I was in the 8, and I was like, thank God. Now I think I can talk about my mark. I'm not sure, let me tell you. So I got 179 out of 200, which I think is quite good. Um, I think to get, I got 72 out of 80, and then I got 107 out of 120, which I think is pretty good. So I'm also doing A-level art if you are curious. So I was really happy that I got an eight because to do it, I think you need a six or a seven to do A-level art. So I was really happy with that. My teacher will surely be really happy and yeah. So overall, I'm pretty happy with my results. Like I'm happy with my Englishes, my maths, my science, my history, my art. The only two that I'm a bit bummed out about is my business and my drama. But I think literally everyone goes out of results day with one, maybe, that they're a bit like, eh, about, like, there's one grade. I'm in sixth form, so it's whatever. So that is everything. I think there's not much more to talk about. Um, it was a very stressful morning. I was not doing well. Like, I was, like, shaking in the car just because I was so nervous that I wasn't going to get the grades. Um, I got the grades. Oh God. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe down below. Um, just take this with a grain of salt, like if I do bad in a grade and you think it's really good, don't take of it as like offend don't take it don't think I'm being like rude or like thinking that I'm like better than everyone because that's a bad grade. Like that is just personal standards. Um so yeah, just remember that. I hope that you all did really well. I hope that you all got your grades. I hope that you're happy. Let me know. Um yeah. I hope that you have a really good day and a really good week, and I hope that I see you all in my next video. Bye! In my um, yearbook, I got most famous. Most likely to be famous. <laughs> Bye.